Hey guys, I was very fortunate to find the new War Machine mech early at Kohl's of all places, if you can believe it. But yeah, check your local Kohl's guys, you never know what you're going to find. Anyways, this is the new War Machine mech armor from the Lego Marvel line, and this retails for $14.99. So the price is not too bad, but it is a little perplexing, right? Because it says the Infinity Saga, but the War Machine that comes with this doesn't really look like any of his MCU appearances, more so comic books. And of course, he never had a mech in the Infinity Saga. So this is our first Infinity Saga branded mech. I feel like that was a branding miscommunication, honestly, but it is what it is. And I have to say, I think this might be my favorite Lego Marvel mech ever. Of course, we're going to take a closer look at it in just a second. But before that, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future Lego Marvel videos, including other 2024 reviews that are on the channel now. That being said, let's get into the review. Do want to let you guys know my friend brody and i designed a lego kiss set so we need all the support we can get from the kiss army if you would click the link in the description of this video you can support the set and if we get enough supporters lego will actually consider making it into a real set so let's get those supporter numbers up and thanks so much for that all right so the mech itself is a pretty solid build it's got all the usual parts that a mech has right with the movable hips the movable ankles the movable shoulders, and the posable fingers. Now, this does use the angled pieces that debuted last year with the mechs. Well, I'm making this video in 2023, so not really last year, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, we do get a very nice printed piece on the front here. In fact, there are no stickers in this set, so that's very cool. I love this big tube that connects the belt here to the launcher on his shoulder, which of course is a trademark for War Machine, and I really love that. I also really love these like rounded pieces that are on the palms of the hands. That way they kind of look like his red arc reactors. That's cool. You can, of course, pivot him at the hips. And he has a stud shooter on both wrists as well as the shoulder, which we were just talking about. Then, of course, you can open the front and remove the minifigure. You got to sit him down to fit inside. Before we take a look at the minifig, there is one more cool play feature, and that is this removable pack on the back. It clips right in there as you can see and you can open it up and he has extra stud ammunition in there so that's very cool and i would love if they would include that on future mechs like ways to hold all the extra studs but regardless i do think that this is quite cool and as promised we're gonna look at the minifig up next so like i said this looks more to me like the animated version of war machine than any particular version from the mcu i do not like the new helmets for iron man i think that the original helmets were great the ones that opened up that is and i don't really feel that there was any reason or need to change them but as helmets go i do think this one looks pretty good love all the printing on the legs including the toe printing and hip printing great printing on the torso as well very comic book reminiscent like i said then we can lift the helmet up and you can see he gets the standard roadie head underneath with a hair piece that you could put on him too so i think that that looks great and overall i think this makes for a really great mech at 15 bucks so with that being said let's wrap up this video and call it a day all right, guys, that's going to wrap up the review today. Let me know what you think of this. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite Lego Marvel mech, although I'm not that big of a mech guy to begin with, so hey, what do I know? Anyways, hope you're having a great, great time out there. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. Stay inspired, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.